Reports on the treatment meted out to suspected illegal miners who were arrested on the premises of Anglo Gold Ashanti, a mining company in Obuase, by military officers. We are well informed that on the 15th of July, the military arrested some suspected illegal miners on the Anglo Gold field and subjected them to torture, inhumane treatment, abuse of their human rights, amongst others. The minority find this development most unfortunate, disturbing, and we strongly condemn the use of brute, excessive, and disproportionate force in the so-called fight against illegal mining. This flagrant disregard of our laws and constitution under the Akufado-led government is most unfortunate and must be roundly condemned in the strongest terms possible. We find this incident despicable. We find this incident unfortunate. And we find this incident highly reprehensible. Even more disturbing is the fact that the Akufuado-led government has remained mute following this incident. This is a heinous crime meted out to ordinary Ghanaians. You and I would agree that the level of unemployment is at an all-time high. And so even as we claim that we are fighting against illegal mining, it ought to be done in accordance with law. We would not countenance any attempt by this government using military force to brutalize, maltreat, and subject ordinary Ghanaian to inhumane treatment. Even as they do this, they have turned a blind eye to foreigners. Whilst they are chasing Ghanaians, pursuing Ghanaians, and brutalizing the ordinary Ghanaian, foreigners are always being treated with kid gloves. And in some instances, the law is compromised to favor these foreigners when they fall foul within the laws as far as the mining sector is concerned. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, you will recall the infamous incident involving a Chinese Galamse queen known as Aisha Wang. Following her arrest for her involvement in illegal mining, rather than prosecuting her to serve as a deterrent to others, the state unilaterally and surprisingly discontinued the case in court on a very flimsy and baseless excuse, as was said by Mr. Osafomafo, that Ghana stood to have economic gains from releasing the suspects. This clearly demonstrates the double standard being practiced by the Akufuado Baumia led government. The minority therefore wish to call on government particularly the Minister for Defense, the Minister for Interior, and the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, to, as a matter of agency, constitute an impartial, credible investigation into this dastardly act. And whoever is found culpable must face the full rigors of the law. Ghana is governed by the Constitution, we are governed by the rule of law, and the minority would not sit on consent for some few people to mishandle and demean the very basic rights of the ordinary Ghanaian.